All right, guys, it's Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, everyone. It's webinar day. I'm really, really happy today. You know, I woke up this morning feeling great. I had the marathon on Sunday, so I was destroyed yesterday. So if you guys felt me a little bit sad or maybe, you know, a little bit tired, that was the reason because I've run 10K. So I was that was a big achievement, so I was destroyed on Monday. Anyways, um, so today's Tuesday. Today is the webinar day. Really, really happy days. Six to seven, free, zero costs. What do you have to do? Just register um, on the link that Dave will put it um, on the um, description of the video. And I see you today, six to seven, Sydney time. Right, so what I'm here to talk about it. Well, there are so many things that I can talk about this week and it will be, you know, we finished it up a busy week last week and now we come into the busiest week even, uh, you know, even busier than last week. So there are so many things I can talk about CPI on Europe, I can talk about CPI on UK, I can talk about um, Fed minutes, I can talk RBA minutes, There's so many things. I've chose um, about the boy announcement from on Thursday. So I know it's two days, um, two days away but I guess, you know, this will give us a bit of a um, understanding of the market and you will know why the pound or maybe, you know, why the pound dollar, pound yen, pound New Zealand, all of those um, pound currencies, uh, pound pairs, they are not moving that, um, you know, I would say volatile as they usually are because the pound is a very volatility, a very volatile currency, um, usually day on a day basis. So we're going to have the boy announcement, um, you know, the right decision on Thursday for us. Um, and something very interesting will happen. I have my notes here as usual. So I want to read down the numbers so I don't get anything wrong for you guys. So out of 65 economists served by the Reuters, that it's a um, very famous um, news website like uh, Bloomberg, so they do sort of similar job. So they, they just have the, um, the economists, they go around the globe, ask the economists what they think about some situations and so on. Um, so out of 65 economists, 64, 64, right, so 99%, predicted that the boy will raise the bank rates by 25 basis points to 5.5. So right now, they are at 5.25, right? Um, and now 64 in economists are predicting that um, the, the, the boy will raise 25 basis points, leading to a interest rate at 5.5%. Uh, um, as well, the market's also giving this a 75% likelihood. Um, so that means that not only the economists, but as well the market is expecting it. I've mentioned already on my webinar what I mean by market. You know, uh, what is the market? Well, market can be us, can be me, can be you, um, can be, you know, all of our clients on ACY Securities. Um, it can be um, an institution, it can be a bank. So all the players on the market, they formulate the market. So basically, they are the market. So the market is also giving these a 75% likelihood. So um, 64 economists out of 65 is predicting a raise. Um, and 75% of the market is, 74% of the market is expecting um, a raise from the boy as well. Um, so we, we have to pension, uh, we have to pay attention to some key recent um, data, including the July year-on-year -year consumer price index, the CPI, it declined to 6.8% from 7.9%, right? Uh, with the core inflation was stable at 6.9%, and the services sector, it moving up to 7.4% uh, from 7.2%. So we do have a bit of a... Um, mixture data in the you know in that in that group um, but it's still inflation not controlled yet all right we do have inflation slowly coming down but it's uh, far far away from where the boy wants the inflation to be on the target of two to three percent okay so there are a lot of more work for them to be done and I feel quite reasonable for them to raise 25 basis points um, on Thursday okay 
Um, as well, the June monthly G, uh, GDP, the growth, um, exceeded expectations at 0.5% compared to the forecast of 0.2%. Um, July witnessed a 0.5% drop, uh, marking the first month since June 2022 where all major sectors um, reported a decrease. So the growth on um, UK, it's sort of a stable um, it's not going, you know, too crazy up, not going too crazy down. It's still on that range of okay, I would say, right? Uh, August Composed uh, Purchase and Manager Index, the PMI, declined to 48.6 from 50.8. Uh, so this is a big, big drop. Uh, this is a big, big drop. Um, and the crypto, tri critical services company is leaping to 49.5 from 51.5. So both of them nearly two, um, two points. Um, two points drop on the PMI. It is, a big, uh, it is a big take. So we need to pay attention on those PMI data, right? So I even um, would suggest you guys to pay attention on the next releases of the PMI. Um, even on Europe and UK, so then we can know uh, what they will be doing, you know, um, towards this PMI. Um, I would ask uh, as well, you know, Dave to put it up a chart, so then you can see how was the prediction of a week ago of um, the rates and how is um, the current, um, how is the current uh, prediction of the rates. We can see on the blue that is the current and the green is um, is the uh, is the week ago uh, we can notice that you know that were like a one a point 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 one so zero point zero one percent only change on that scenario so the curve is quite linear and you know goes a bit up and then starts to come down so we can see that in the end of 2023 so the 14 of 12 would be the peak rate at 5.54%. So are we on a peak rate for the boy? This is the question. I wouldn't say um, yes, but I wouldn't say no as well, as we need to analyze those PMI's data and the inflation as well. Because the inflation is still pretty far on where um, it should be at the two to three percent target, okay? Um, what else? Okay, and then on the 21st of um, March, we're gonna, uh, 2024, we're gonna start to decline um, the um, interest rates and then we're gonna come back to 520. So, a lot of work for the boy to be done yet. Um, I, would, I would say that they, you know, my personal take is yes, they will raise 25 basis points on Thursday, um, just because all of these things I've just mentioned. But if you want to know the full analysis for the GBP USD and how can you um, trade this news, I will be talking to you guys tonight at 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock at Sydney time, um, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Um, on our webinar. So again, it's free, out of charges. Um, it doesn't cost you anything. All right, so please give us a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to our channel and if you have any questions regarding the boy or regarding any other fundamental aspect to macro macroeconomics aspects please just comment um, on this video and I will be happily answering you guys okay so I'll see you in the next video